it's wild to say this, but now almost 20 years ago, um, when I wasn't sure what I was going to do, am I going to go to med school? Yeah. What do I want to do? I was doing preclinical research in a neuropharmacologic lab. Anyway, it was um, preclinical research. So we were working with rats. And you know, I remember we got a, a shipment of rats in and one of the rats, and I really hope the like statute of limitations has passed because <laughs> I did something definitely very illegal. One of the rats was a runt. And of course, with science, if you know, that that introduces a new variable. If the mm, rat I'm is sure. different from the other rats, right? It's going to skew the results. Yeah. So I was instructed to, to euthanize that rat. And I was like, there is no way I'm doing that. I myself am a runt. You probably can't tell, but I'm very, very, <laughs> very teeny tiny. Um, and so I snuck into the lab <laughs> very late yeah. at night and I rescued the rat. And he Bless lived you. out his days. His name was Brain, like Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain. Great choice. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. And so that's my rat story. <laughs> I love that. You're a savior of rats, which is what I'm hearing. I think I have yes. the opposite rec like reputation in the rat community, actually, because we go in and we would trap and release them and, and test them for diseases and take a little blood sample. So I think if like the rats had a myth about me, which they might, it would be like the rat vampire. You know what I mean? They'd be like, she takes our blood and then she sends us back. And it's very confusing. I kind of love that. Kaylee, the, the, what do you say? The bat, the, the, the rat, rat vampire. vampire. Yeah, yeah. Kaylee, the rat vampire. Okay. That's a cool tagline. It is cool. And actually, you know, so thinking about like cool things in general in science, I saw a very cool thing today of a vampire bat running on a treadmill. And we're we're doing an episode at the end of our season about like rapid evolution and bats. And uh, so I, I love bats and I've been thinking about them a lot. But it was really interesting because they were talking about how these vampire bats feed on blood and it gives them this sort of like the amino acids. They can metabolize them really quickly, which allows them to run, not usually on treadmills, but you know, out in, out in the world. But that's very different from a lot of us who like really uh, were using carbohydrates for that, right? To like get that immediate energy. And these little bats are just out there like, I don't How need that. Cool. 